October 3rd. So today I'm going to be taking you into my kitchen and I'm going to be showing you how to make a burn book cake. So according to the internet, calteen bars kind of taste like chocolate peanut butter cookie dough. They're these weird nutrition bars my mom uses to lose weight. So we're going to try to make that into a cake today to celebrate the fact that it is Wednesday, October the 3rd. On Wednesdays we wear pink. I'm wearing pink to celebrate. This cake is going to be a multi-layered cake. The layers are going to be chocolate cake, peanut butter frosting, and a cookie dough frosting. Let's go and get started. Okay, so I got my sugar in the bowl. We're just gonna start adding all the wet ingredients. Just gonna add the eggs, the buttermilk and vinegar, and the oil. We're gonna add the vanilla and the coffee. And now we're gonna add in the sifted dry ingredients. Mixed our batter so that it's a nice smooth consistency. We're just gonna pour it into our pan. Now our cake is ready to put into the oven. A few minutes later. Now our cake is ready and it's out of the oven. It's ready to cool. It's time to take it out of the tray. A few minutes later. Now that the cake's cooled down, I'm just gonna cut the top off and flatten the cake out. Now we're just going to trim the edges of this cake just so we can sharpen up the edges before we decorate it. Now we're just going to cut the cake in half. All right. And now we're just going to slice our cake in half this way to turn this into two layers. I'm just gonna put pieces of parchment paper in between so that our cake doesn't get stuck together. And we're gonna do the exact same to this side. We're just gonna separate our pieces of cake using parchment paper so that they don't get stuck together. So this is what the cakes look like all stacked up with the layers of parchment paper in between the cakes. We're just gonna pop these into the freezer while we make our icing. All right, now to make the buttercream. So we're just gonna take a cup of butter, we're gonna toss it into our mixer. Now we're gonna add in the icing sugar. For our cookie dough icing, we're just gonna add a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cream, and just keep beating that until that's a little light and fluffy. So now that the, the butter and the icing sugar is a nice consistency, I'm just gonna add the brown sugar and the chocolate chips. And a little bit of the flour. So this is what the chocolate chip cookie dough filling looks like. As you can see, it's loaded with chocolate chips and it is a thick, creamy consistency. A little bit thicker than your traditional buttercream, but still way creamier and easier to spread than a regular cookie dough. So we're just gonna take a cup of butter. Now we're gonna add in the icing sugar. We're just gonna keep whipping up the butter and icing sugar for a little bit so that everything's nice and smooth and then we're gonna add in our peanut butter about one cup of peanut butter. So this is what the peanut butter buttercream looks like. As you can see, it's super creamy, perfect for spreading onto a cake. To start off by decorating the cake, we're just gonna put a little bit of icing down to secure our first layer to our cake board. I'm just gonna pipe a little border around the edges. Then we're gonna add our cookie dough buttercream and spread a layer of that on. We're gonna put on our second layer of cake. And then we're gonna repeat the process. I'm just gonna 
ice the top and I'm gonna dirty ice the whole cake with the peanut butter buttercream. Now that the cake has been dirty iced, it's time to pop it into the freezer. A few minutes later. Now I'm just going to cut this cake to make it perfectly square. So I'm just gonna cover the edges that I cut with a little bit more buttercream. Now I'm just gonna take a plastic bowl scraper and scrape the sides of my cake so that it's nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna take my spatula and just pull the little bits that are on top inside just to smooth it all out. Now just taking a small paring knife, I'm just gonna go around the edges of the cake board just to clean up any leftover icing that may have gotten onto the board. So right now we're just gonna roll out the fondant for our cake. So now that the burn book cake is all covered up, we're just gonna take one of the fondant decorating tools and go down the side of this cake to give it the appearance of a book. So be really careful that you don't crack the fondant. If you do, it's okay because in the movie, the burn book is kind of like an older journal that's all beaten up. So just going down the side of the cake like this and just smoothing out any line. So as you can see, the book now kind of has a part for the spine. Now I'm just taking the same fondant tool and I'm just going to create a divot right here so we can create some three-dimensional shape for when we add the pages. We're gonna do the same to the bottom, creating a spine that lines up with the first spine that we created, if that makes any sense. Now I picked the uglier side where my fondant had cracked a bit to glue the pages over top. We're just gonna go around for the whole entire cake to create that three-dimensional book shape. Just smooth it out anywhere you see that it needs to be smoothed out. And now that we've kind of cut out the shape of our book, we're just gonna stick our pages all along the side. So for the pages, we're just gonna take some white fondant and roll it out nice and thin. We're gonna cut it into long, thin strips. So we're just gonna take a strip of fondant and we're gonna take one of our fondant tools and we're just gonna gently press on the edge of our fondant. And by doing so, we're gonna flatten it and kind of create this almost ripple-like effect where it sort of looks like it's pieces of paper. And we're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna take our pizza cutter and cut along the edge. And then we're gonna gently take our piece of fondant and place it in our hand. And then taking a paintbrush with some vodka, we're just gonna paint the edge that we didn't press down. And then we're gonna just stick this to our cake. And we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. But we're just doing this exact same step the entire time. A few minutes later. As you can see now, there's pages sticking out of the book. We're gonna smooth down the top a little bit more work on painting on all of the decorations and adding the burn book logo to it. So to get the burn book logo, we're just gonna roll out some white and black fondant. I'm just gonna take different square cutters to make my logo. going to cut out the exact shape that I want. I'm just going to do the same with the white. I'm just going to stick on the burn book logo. Now we're just gonna paint on the letters. I'm just using a white food coloring on black fondant.
the writing for burn book is done, we're going to go ahead and start graffitiing the rest of it and add the lip print. So I have the burn book cake finished off now. This is what the cake looks like. As you can see, there's graffiti all over it and the lip print and the burn book lettering. Doing the graffiti was a lot harder because I didn't have a thin enough paintbrush, but otherwise, I think for a first attempt, considering the paintbrushes that I had, I did a pretty decent job recreating the burn book in cake form. As you can see, there's lots of pages of juicy gossip spilling out of the sides. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are inspired to make your own burn book, Mean Girls, Regina George, whatever you want inspired cake today to celebrate the fact that it is Wednesday, October the 3rd. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. I'm gonna go eat a slice of cake. I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat and be happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.